Yes, now we'll discuss about the peritoneum. Peritoneum is a large sheet of serous membrane which covers the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity from either side and viscera from outer side. Here is transverse section of the abdominal cavity. This is abdominal wall. Here is position of loop of intestine. This is viscera. This is covered by this is peritoneum. This covers the viscera from outer side. This is viscera. It covers the viscera from outer side. And this is fold of the peritoneum and this is wall of the abdominal cavity it covers the abdominal cavity from inner side this is inner side of the abdominal wall and pelvic wall here this part, this part is parietal peritoneum and this part is visceral peritoneum and this is fold of the peritoneum, this is fold of the peritoneum. And this is cavity of the peritoneum. This is cavity of the peritoneum or peritoneal cavity. So here you are seeing four things. One is parietal peritoneum. This is visceral peritoneum, fold of the peritoneum and cavity of the peritoneum. We will discuss one by one. First of the uh, first of all, parietal peritoneum. This parietal peritoneum develops from somatopleuric mesoderma of the lateral, lateral plate, somatopleuric mesoderm of the lateral plate. It is pain sensitive. Because its arterial supply, its nerve supply, its nerve supply is from the nerve which gives supply to the wall of the abdominal cavity. So its nerve supply is same that is wall of the abdominal cavity. And here this part, this is visceral peritoneum. The, it develops from spline pro pleuric mesoderm of lateral plate. Spline pro pleuric mesoderm. That's why its nerve supply is autonomic nerve. Here, nerve supply is somatic nerve. Same nerve which gives supply to the that particular area of the abdominal wall. This is nerve supply same which gives supply to that particular area of the viscera. So this is autonomic nerve. This is pain insensitive. This is pain insensitive. And this is pain sensitive. And that thing. This is fold of the peritoneum. If you see, here is anterior abdominal wall, this is posterior abdominal wall and this is abdominal part of the foregut.
from here from here to here this is mid gut and this is hind gut so this fold of mesentery this is fold fold of the peritoneum here in relation to the stomach and first two centimeter of the duodenum there is dorsal this is dorsal and this is ventral fold of peritoneum this ventral fold form the ventral mesogastrium this is dorsal mesogastrium if you got a section at this level you can see here here is position of this developing foregut this is foregut and this is this is ventral mesogastrium and this is dorsal mesogastrium this is ventral this is dorsal this is ventral this is dorsal mesogastrium here in the ventral mesogastrium liver start developing this is liver which is start developing and now this fold become like this this ventral mesogastrium now divided into two part this is ventral and this is dorsal part of this ventral mesogastrium this part forms several ligaments related to liver this is developing liver and this part form the lesser omentum this is lesser omentum and this dorsal mesogastrium in relation to dorsal mesogastrium here is spleen develops and now fold become like this now this fold here you can see this is position of the developing liver here is position of the developing spleen this is developing spleen this ligament is gastrostenic ligament this is gastrostenic ligament and here here is position of right and left kidney this is fold of the peritoneum and here this is gastrostenic ligament this ligament is leno renal ligament between kidney and this this is leno renal ligament this this between this and this this is leno renal ligament this fold is leno renal ligament this is leno renal ligament between left kidney this is left kidney and this spleen and other area this area here it forms the greater omentum so greater omentum so this fold of the peritoneum forms ligaments omentum this is lesser omentum here is greater omentum in relation to the stomach in relation to liver and spleen it forms ligament and if you see 
in another diagram here is position of the stomach this is duodenum this is jejunum ileum and here is this is appendix this is cecum this is ascending colon this is transverse colon here is descending colon this is sigmoid colon and here is rectum and anal canal up to the pectinate line so here you have seen position of liver here is position of liver this is liver this is forgot the stomach and upper part of the first two centimeter of the duodenum here is spleen here is fold of the peritoneum in relation to the liver this is falciform ligament and here is this is lesser omentum here lies greater omentum here is gastrospleen ligament here is position of the diaphragm so another ligament is gastrophrenic ligament here in the duodenum ascending colon descending colon the fold of the peritoneum this fold of the peritoneum which lies like this it absorbs this fold of the peritoneum this is absorbed into the parietal layer of the peritoneum this fold absorbs into the parietal layer and gradually its position become like this this structure is now become retroperitoneal this is retroperitoneal structure so ascending colon here its peritoneum is absorbed like this it become retroperitoneal this descending colon is retroperitoneal distal part about 2 cm from pylorus this duodenum is also retroperitoneal structure so only this part from here to here it has mesentery this mesentery is known as mesocolon here is transverse mesocolon here mesentery is inverted b shaped in relation to the sigmoid colon this is sigmoid mesocolon this is sigmoid mesocolon this is transverse mesocolon so the fold of this fold of the peritoneum is named in relation to the structures here in relation to the stomach it is named as lesser omentum greater omentum in relation to the liver it is named as falciform ligament coronary ligament superior inferior coronary ligament right and left triangular ligament here in relation to the transverse colon transverse mesio colon here in relation to appendix here the mesio appendix 
and here is a root of measuring tree through which the small intestine is suspended from jejunum to jejunal end to ileal end this is mesentery proper so these are modifications of the fold of the peritoneum we'll discuss one by one in next lecture thank you